<clears throat> I'm gonna just start, honestly. Let's just start, okay? So here we have Ramillo. He's gold too, and he's mostly Kaisa. We have a Kaisa uh, VOD review to watch. Um, seems like he's doing pretty well recently. I like his uh, champion pool. Very all in -y. Like, we are in it to win it and kill the ball, okay? So I think this kind of style is really good at this rank. So I'm kind of curious to see where he's going wrong. He also seems to be getting a bunch of kills, right? So it's probably not a champion mastery issue. It's probably a uh, dying to something he didn't see coming issue. But um, <clears throat> let's take a look. And I think he has some comments here. So the main areas he wants to work on are opportunity costs, decision making, rotations, mid to late game play styles, how to play around teammates. So basically, uh, opportunity cost seems to be like, um, should I be helping out the team? Slash, what am I losing by helping out? Something like that, right? And I, I'm, I'm sure that's tied in with decision making and rotations. And mid late game play styles is interesting. Um, not really sure what he means by that, but maybe how to play like team fights. And, and the last one is how to play on teammates, right? So for sure, um, at this rank, I'm sure we'll see some um, 4v5 ideas. That's definitely playing how to play around teammates and or chaining off your teammates. Like say, for example, are you watching your Zach to see when he's going in so you can RW immediately? You know, stuff like that. He has Hello Blades and Cleanse against Vane. Vane Swain um, is ADTF um, and it's Swain versus Zareth bot. I mean, honestly, all we have to do is just chill and let Zareth poke Swain out for uh, the entire laning phase and we're good to go, right? <clears throat> On stun, I would not expect us to immediately all in, especially if you stun Swain, but um, it is what it is, right? Let's see. And he has cleanse for uh, ignite and or exhaust. I can't remember if I saw exhaust on Vayne, but that would make a lot of sense, right? Uh, Zareth already playing in Africa. What the hell? He's just playing so far back. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, nice try on the Vayne there. Definitely look for something after Swain misses uh, pull, right? Here, you're pinging let's push for level two, which is always good. Right, we want to communicate to our team. We're hitting level two, <clears throat> and then let's run at them. Very nice. Come on, W anyone? It doesn't matter. Very. Oh, field goal here. Uh, I mean, we can talk about this here. A bit inter interesting, interesting W. Right, it's kind of like he aimed it direct. Look, <laughs> if we pause at this freeze frame, he <laughs> aimed it right in the middle of them. Uh, my tip for these kinds of skill shots is like. <clears throat> these kinds of skill shots being you just want to hit someone you don't really care who is pick a guy um i'd pick swain here and just uh aim him instead of aiming aiming at them in general trying to hit either okay <clears throat> that's my tip at least for that um remember their jungle is nunu so uh snowball on zareth is lethal so uh i'm down to push and uh, get our level three slow pushing cannon um means we're gonna get ganked i think because we need to get the uh, three melee minions here now uh, maybe not actually slow pushing cannon does not necessarily mean we're getting ganked huh it was just that on that wave before uh <clears throat> you cleared enough minions are looking kind of sketch it's kind of looking kind of sketch we're not level three yet level three <clears throat> now we gotta go ward because they're also level three immediately since the waves at their tower <laughs> go ward we're dead to a gank here go ward go ward go ward <clears throat> base is not it there's no base here Chief, Swain is half health. Okay, good. Cancel base. Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, these three melee minions are level three. Okay, so I'm going to make this note here. Making a note for the next uh, note. Okay, so I'm going to make a note here. We're going to talk about... Um, I'm going to talk about this like little section here. Um, so we fast forward here to this like section here. <clears throat> okay, we are level three for a little bit before them. This is our protection against a gank right now because we have a level advantage. So we can actually go for the 2v3. But but when their bot lane hits hits level 3, we are no longer uh, protected because we no longer uh, have an advantage. So here, <clears throat> once you get the level 3, you should look and then go ward for this new new gank i think we ended up trying to base which is kind of weird because then they just push and you would lose a wave despite having an hp advantage in lane after zareth is poking swain tldr use level level three advantage then go ward to protect against new new gank then keep pressure up in lane yeah something like that 
Does a level advantage like this always guarantee safety for a gank? It does not. It does not. It is matchup dependent, okay? So let's say, for example, we're Kaisa Zerath, and they have Kalista Thresh Elise. We're level 3, they're level 2, they don't give a fuck, they're gonna gank, right? And they're gonna flash flay, auto attack, look for a hook, and we have no way to turn the play because we're Kaisa Zerath, right? Like, the best play you could probably get is Zerath stuns someone, unlikely, and then Kaisa W, ISO Q, proc passive. But uh, against Kalista Thresh Elise, that does not seem uh, likely at all. I would not go for that, right? I think we kind of messed up the um, the play here, but it's fine. I like I like I like what you were going going for here. W flash on stun. So even though you kind of hit a minion, I'm not all too worried about that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, the yeah, the right idea, okay. The execution is a little wonky, but it's fine. And then um we should talk about the wave here. It's pushing towards him. He could base if he wants to here. Uh let's talk about the wave real quick here. So we saw their jungler top, so we know Vayne is alone in lane. We can the next wave is cannon, right? The next wave is cannon. So <clears throat> after we kill, after people die in lane, we need to ask ourselves, what do we do now? Here, you can default to trying to shove it under tower, but it seems like it'll take forever and then Vayne is just going to pick it all up anyways. Or, the other option is uh, we can hide and then base, since it's pushing to us. This way, Vayne feels like it's impossible to push out since she's alone um, and we get to deny her uh, gold XP. Well, the downside to this is that you don't get to kill minions now and spend and spend now but we get to deny Vayne which is what I would do okay. So as you can see this is taking an eternity to push in I would for sure have opted for the base option uh wow this is actually a disaster yeah we definitely should have based because the next wave is cannon and uh wave is pushing towards us so we were really happy vain I, I somehow this turned into yeah somehow this turned into now we can't lane even though we were the ones who killed swain something wrong happened right it was definitely an insta base angle the way we can wreck this pattern is um, after we kill someone in lane check to see if the wave is pushing to us or pushing to them okay fast forward fast forward we went to ward we have the noon quiver all seems well um we should just be pushing right pushing and don't die to snowball anything like that seems good the vein base oh vein's fucked you guys are trying to deny her i'm down i'm also down to push and poke her out too I either is good push and dive is also good <clears throat> Very nice. We can look for a W here. I'm down to push. Just make sure we don't die to Nunu, right? Ooh, that guy is dead as fuck. All right, here's the Nunu. We are dying to Nunu. Uh, it's fine. You didn't die to Nunu. Zealoth is not very careful there, was he? Okay. All good, all good. Vayne's still fucked, by the way. She has no HP. So all you have to do is just chill until Zareth comes back. And then back to business as usual. Hell yeah. Zareth, uh, it's totally fine. TF is going top, by the way. Yeah, you didn't notice, but it's fine. Push. You can also deny this if you really want to, but now we are later in the game. We want to be pushing so we can go help the Zac. This Nunu is doing an illegal. You're paying dragging, but I'm not sure we have enough to just do it straight up. Uh, we need a push and go ward. Oh, wow. I'm down for this too. Swain based. I mean, Nunu still kills Zareth here, by the way. Yeah, uh, okay, so let's talk about this. Okay, let's talk about this. Because it just happened twice. Zareth is dying to Nunu on spot. This is because he has no sums and you guys are pushing. And he's trolling his stun so he's gonna die every time. The way we can help prevent this is ask yourself what you want to do after push in this in this case we are defaulting to hitting tower and poking vein on push the problem with this is nunu gank kills zareth every time 
one solution, I guess one option, option we can do is on push, go ward, deep, go ward for Nunu gank, then come back to lane. Basically, you have to come up with a strategy to not int into jungle while pushing your advantage, if that makes any sense. Oh, so you don't lose your advantage, okay? TLDR, we generated an advantage in lane. It doesn't necessarily uh, mean we just hit power. Did you usually give up bad, give up lane with bad support? Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean give up lane? You can't give up lane. You are, you're the, the guy who has to stay in lane, you know what I mean? What are you gonna do, leave, leave bot? <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, um, we're kind of dying here. I'm pretty sure Vayne kills this, by the way. You can press Q here, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so we're dead. Feels bad, man. Team died because we died. Very nice. Zed died because team died. Very nice. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, since the game is kind of a disaster from these jungle ganks, I'm just gonna <clears throat> give you a quick and easy uh, cookie cutter strat against jungle support combo that can gank really well after push just watch their engage no need to hit tower or poke them or anything just make sure you're watching their engage wording is good too if you so let's say for example um eg um push their support is under tower then go word try because it's only their jungler there Stuff like that. We killed this guy? Hello? Nunu killed himself. <laughs> Yo? Nunu killed himself? Uh, use E on the tower here? Bro, you're not afraid of Vayne Swain? Okay. <clears throat> uh, again, after we kill people, we need to look at the map and see what we're supposed to do best one of the best habits habits is ask yourself what their best engage is so here it's swain vane vane walking through try and uh all in plus uh tflt maybe are you ready for that question mark <clears throat> i'm unsure if there's actually uh, an angle here to do something <clears throat> We didn't flash anything, right? We're just flashing. Um, just a mechanical thing here. I would always Q first because so we can get the cooldown back faster. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Definitely Q first, right? So far, it's a doesn't know how the enemy team will engage on him angle, right? <clears throat> nice stun, but can't really capitalize on that. Fast forward, saw Nunu Min. Back to business as usual. We have no flash, so another Nunu gank is going to put us in the dirt. Nunu's top, so it's lit. A lot of shenanigans going on over there. Wait, Swain died. This is a wild game, that's for sure. Okay. <clears throat> Nunu from base here. He's being cautious. Went to kill Pink Ward. Go back bot. Maybe you shouldn't have gone to kill that pink, to be honest, because Vayne got the push. But honestly, Vayne was going to all in, him, all in him on the wave, so... Maybe he had to uh, give up uh, one timer. He's going to die here if he's not careful. Am I blind? Where did Vayne go? Yeah, he's going to die to Vayne, right? <clears throat> Vayne ulties, you're dead, bro. Oh, he's dead. Guys, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, so what do you think, guys? Same thing? Okay, same thing here. Okay, good news. You have one problem. Bad news. You die to same problem every uh, four minutes. <laughs> At the end of the day, you need to figure out a way to uh, ask yourself what their best engage is at any given given time. A good way to to think about this is each wave is a new time, so to speak. <clears throat> Every wave, ask yourself what's their best engage. In this case, you uh, uh, you saw their entire team top, 
so it's just vain. What's Vayne's best engage? Definitely alt into condemn, into wall. So you need to be able to outplay that if you want to try to push. In this case, I don't think we can outplay um, something, something crazy like condemn flash. <clears throat> so I'm down to just AFK until she shows. Agreed guys? Chat agreed? This is main problem. We're just getting engaged on on every single wave, right? Okay, team fight here. It's a 4v4. Barring some kind of TP. He eat in? Sir? Okay, let's talk about this. What's going on? I'm not really sure why we eat in here. This is not really a winning fight. Eat in is like, I'm a, I'm a kill you all. But here we eat in and, and then you just die. I think. I think. <laughs> What's going on? You just eat in, bro. I don't understand. Why do we eat in? <clears throat> Ramilo, where are you? Speak to me. Why do we eat in? We don't even have ISO Q. What's the plan? No ISO Q. Even if you had ISO Q, there's, uh, you, can't, you can't even ISO Q anyone for a win here, right? <clears throat> so Zed just killed Vayne is lit. You are going mid here. Um, ah, you're looking to engage on them, but your jungle's going top. Hey, right. this falls under the playing around, around the teammates category. When you want to go in on a play, uh, you should look at what your jungler is doing. Pretty much the only time you can ignore your jungler is if you one-shot this guy and get out. So yeah, um, Zach is going top. They want to engage on Swain of all people. Uh, you better one-shot this guy. <clears throat> or we're both dying. Lol? What do you think, chat? <clears throat> is it... Uh, not, not quite the same thing, but it's pretty similar. Oh my god, he's dying to ADTF. Yeah, so we lost Flash here for no reason. Uh, that's unfortunate. Fast forward. Uh, okay, I'm I'm not quite sure what the plan was here either. It seems like we have a habit of just going in, but you but there's no real way to kill them. There's no real way to kill them here. So for starters, let's not E in unless you can uh, one-shot them. Uh, let's say every time you want to E in, ask yourself if you can one-shot them. Every time you E in, ask yourself if you can one-shot them. <clears throat> Alright, we go mid here. I'm gonna go mid here, buddy. Where are we going, Chief? I'm gonna go mid here. <clears throat> okay. We path mid here because there is a 5v5 going on only time we don't path mid is when the fight is already over and we don't need to defend mid <clears throat> we basically like go mid it's pretty much go mid every time here i think look at this it's so chaotic surely we're getting something if we go mid but maybe not maybe going by here is fine it seems like it's kind of fine <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. It kind of looks like it's working out, but then if you take a look, you know, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't work out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah, like, we need to be there to defend the tower, right? The slash help the fight, right? I think the only reason why they all died is because we weren't there. So, yeah, we need to, we just needed to be mid. Yeah, so let's think about, so let's think about uh, the different, for different scenarios. Team Giga crushes mid. Uh, so if we go mid, there is nothing to do. Chris is mid, 4v5. Team goes even mid, but since it's 4v5, they actually lose and enemy team starts hitting the tower. If we were there, we can uh, help the fight slash defend mid tower. Three. Whole team got one shot. Going mid does nothing because they dive you on tower. So of these three options, option one and option three pretty much never happen. That's just outlier cases. Two happens every time pretty much. So we need to path mid. 
In my opinion, okay, in my opinion, I would always pass mid. Yeah, so if we take a look at what happened here, let's let's take a look here. So so let's watch this. So see all this chaos happening mid. It does not look like either team is giga crushing, right? Just at a glance. Just at, right now, right now, <clears throat> you have to you 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 pause now and you're at the casino and you say, okay, option one, option two, or option three. Twenty bucks. What 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 number would you pick, guys? One, two, or three? One, our team wins this four v five. Two, no fucking clue. Three, there our whole team is dead right now. <laughs> I would pick number two, bro. I have no fucking clue, dude. We gotta go mid. I would pick two every time. So yeah, um, we had to go mid. Puggers, we got him. Very nice. All right, so let's go dragon here. We killed someone. Let's go dragon. Good, 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 good. You guys are trying to start a fight. Totally fine. Five v four is good. All five v fours are good. Go. Um, set opted to not press W. <clears throat> Why are we backing? I mean, a TF is coming. That's true, actually. TF is coming with ulti. We should, maybe we should be backing. <clears throat> Zach is trying to go in, though. So, uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, he's looking kind of sus. We also eat into a Nunu Snowball. What's going on? Um, we lost our entire health bar. Okay. So, uh, we eat into a Nunu Snowball, right? Uh, okay, so... Okay, we eat into a Nunu Snowball... So, I think we should talk about E usage. Default usage is only press E if you can do this. Kill immediately, like within 0.5 seconds. Two, dodge ability. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> We're just gonna say that for now. Kill immediately or dodge ability? Or th uh, three, run away. Three, run away. Get the wave, go mid. Okay, get the wave and then go mid. Oh, hold up. This guy does not beat us. There's no universe this guy beats us. Uh, we used our ulti strangely. Okay. <clears throat> you, he actually kills him here, by the way. Check it out. Also, check it out! How is the E use case? No E here. Uh, TF was one auto from death. Our E usage here was sus. So, better E usage, like auto cancel or something, would have been uh, that extra DPS you needed. Also, if you didn't know, ulti is an auto attack reset, and you lost the fight by one auto attack. You should practice auto attack, then immediately ulti in a practice tool. And you'll see what I mean. Okay. Seems like we got the Baron. Probably want to make sure we secure it, but it's fine. So we push mid, and you want to go top now. Um, we can try and catch this guy, but remember, it's Vayne TF. It's not just Vayne. I think he just left his Zerath to die here. What do we flash here, Chief? Sir? <clears throat> He's flashing Condemn, but I think we could just, like... Uh, I definitely think there is a way we can not use flash here. Just hold on to E. No problemo. Lock up Isaac Q, auto cancel E. Easy. No way for him to condemn. And then we push and we hit tower. Uh, we can go more. Hold up. Uh, as we're pushing this, we can look at the map and ask ourselves what we want to do next since their swain and nunu are bought we can just keep going until they base um and then your team is dying top for some reason it's fine let's just go bot side good 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 do dragon fuck it do it and run 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 good 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 <clears throat> I got a little scared there when he went for the Nunu. Holy shit. Oh, this is fine. I don't mind. So, I mean, we're chasing, but says Ba, hello? Hold up, you just ping go. You ping go when Swain is not here. Kind of concerned about this go ping. This is very reminiscent of you pinging Zareth to go on Swain uh, near mid when your Zac was going top. 
So here your set is bought and is not moving. We are just going to, this is just a 45. <clears throat> Remember, the only time we can ping go in a 45 is if we can one shot people. I definitely don't think we're one shotting anyone here. I'd say as you climb higher, your support has a higher chance of having common sense though. Nope, not true. <clears throat> so we're going to ult into a 4v5. Is this working? I'd say it's almost working, but uh, more int than not int, correct? <laughs> I think they all should have died there. <laughs> they all should have died here. Okay. Here, you should be spam pinging your team to go. Now it's a 5v4. Basically, to ping go or not go, we need to look at numbers. At numbers, and to look at numbers, we need to look at the map and see where teammates are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. We going. Nice. Uh, it was almost one shot. <clears throat> NTNT. Oh, Zach killed himself. Nice. Um, Zareth is dead as fuck. You could try to fight this, honestly, with uh, ISO Q. But uh, maybe we're afraid of Vayne. I'm down to not fight this. <laughs> we didn't see Vayne's HP bar, so. All right. All right. We'll talk about this since you play Kaisa a ton. All right. All right, we'll talk about this since you play Kaisa a ton. The only reason why this play didn't work out is because you didn't one-shot Swain after ulti. And you didn't one-shot Swain after ulti because he stopped watched. One way you can spot these uh, hourglasses items is press tab on every way. So two different habits you can work on for every wave is looking at their engage their best engage and checking their items for stopwatch 5v5 here <clears throat> oh get this vein Ooh, that was hot <clears throat> amazing amazing er Amazing E, E plus R all in on Vayne. 10 out of 10, very good look. This is the E use case you are looking for. E and then someone is dead. Immediate. Very good find, very good find. Did we not cleanse? Oh, you didn't, he didn't cleanse. Uh, only thing I would say is uh cleanse for a tf gold card then we can auto cancel e and juke out nunu and he's putting i next good 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 all this is whatever i don't care zed hero <clears throat> nice oh tf trolling oh we win this let's go good stuff just kill them all here right <clears throat> uh okay <laughs> Something is going on. <laughs> something is going on with our positioning here. Uh, something is going wrong with our positioning here. We just ulted into uh, the fog of war where Nunu and Swain could be. I, I know you're thinking, don't let Mao Kai out. But uh, <coughs> if you think about it, you let him out because he's going to W you. But uh, in other situations where it's not Maokai, we can just E, we can just ulti close to our team. We just ulti on our side of the team fight and just chase him with E if he tries to run. We just ultied into danger and that led to us taking uh, a million damage and then die. That was kind of awkward. Uh, we just ulti didn't die, right? Like, look, he's half health for no reason, somehow, right? Before the Nunu shows up. <clears throat> and then we got hit by Snowball. But we have a lot of items, though, so that's puggers. <clears throat> Let's watch this. Uh, TF killed himself. 
Nice. Nice trying to eat the RW, but good luck. Very nice. They're trying to hit the Baron. I mean, we win the game now, no? Oh, if that W hit Vayne, it would have been so good. That way you could uh, see her when she goes invisible. We just eat in! Sir! <clears throat> Bro, that was such a strange E. Again, sussy E usage, but at least we found Vayne. I think that was mostly luck, though. Since we saw you E in, waste E in like five times. Okay, fast forward. Just clean up crew. It doesn't matter what he does here, honestly. We don't know if a fight is good automatically. You think fighting as 50 50 not guaranteed income while CSing is. Alright, so I think as fighting as <laughs> it's not guaranteed income, but it's how you win the game. It's your uh, ticket to win the game. When there's fighting, you win the game by out, out playing in the fights. And then. If there's no fighting, you'll outplay by better macro getting the getting the minions. Agreed? So at this rank, there's always fighting. So minions are not really mattering as much. Minions are more like, after you kill them all, get all the minions, right? Like, as you can see here, there's never been a, there's never been a situation where we said, you shouldn't have fought. You should have got the minions instead, right? Instead, it's, you should have fought better, right? In every single, in every single, you know, in the entire... Uh, in the entire how, how long has this been 36 minutes? I have never said you should have not fought here The only time we'll say no fight is, is 4v5, right? But it's not 4v5 most of the time, right? <clears throat> here you eat in and then you die to this dude, right? Uh, okay, so a uh, Few mechanical notes here. TF lived with like 20% uh, no, 20% of his health your passive proc does damage based on their missing HP and you proc it without using ISO Q. That's one of the big reasons we always Q first with the first auto. Second, <clears throat> uh, holding W can be important in these fights because um, we want to use it on the target we want to kill. A lot of times, a lot of times we need it for <clears throat> the target we want to kill. It ended up being TF, but at first you aimed Nunu because Zach was aiming Nunu. Personally, I would always hold onto it until I know for sure. Third, auto cancel ulti. Wait, we got a QSS? Hold up, we can't go QSS. Let's talk about itemization. Let's talk itemization. I don't think we can afford QSS here because it doesn't give us an answer and I'll play tool when cleanse does the same thing. And they have a vein, so we need to match DPS or do more. And QSS is less DPS than let's say BT. GA can also be bought if you're down for a um, ulti in suicide for vein play or something and then flash or E out Yeah, um, QS is not an option here guys. I think I would just go BT here, right? All right let's watch this um, We're about to get TF ulti or what we cleanse nothing No QS is nothing No yeah so it's super awkward here because you feel like you need to cleanse to get out of this nunu alt when if you had just held e you can just e out <clears throat> basically e is a big outplay tool when it's upgraded so you should hold on to it for um important moments like this to outplay instead of movement. Think of it like the equivalent of dashing on Lucian um, just to get to the fight faster, or Tristana jumping towards the to get to the fight faster. Yeah, you definitely don't want to just uh, do either of those for uh, Tristana or Lucian. Oh, they're all going bot here. Ta <laughs> TM is dead. <laughs> hey yo. What the heck? 
Oh, let's go. Uh, okay, we are in. Vein is spawning. <clears throat> get the vein, get the vein. Nice, we won. This is suicide for vein play. Very nice. Not bad, not bad. <clears throat> not bad at the end. And we won. So, I think general comments. Let's do this summary, create a summary. There were a lot of instinctive, instinctive moments for you to go in this game. And it served you really well in the fights where you were able to E plus R in and go for a high priority target. For example, against the Vayne uh, in two of the fights. Those were critical moments where we found our in on their ADC. That was really good. <clears throat> that was really good. I thought that was really good. What should they spend time practicing for the next session? Okay, easy things to practice. One, on every wave, ask yourself what their best engage is when you go for the minions. Have to look at the map to figure this out. Two, hold E. Hold E until you can kill, dodge, or run. Example case is E first, then R to all in and kill. Uh, auto cancel E to dodge thresh hook and E to run away from Nunu alt. Those are your three examples, okay? Auto cancel R is simple. Just go practice tool. You will figure it out. Every time you want to ping go, look at the map to make sure we have teammates. Because sometimes we ping go in 4v5. That was not good. When a fight breaks out, if it's even numbers, you have to go. This is your default. Because uh, earlier he just went bot when a uh, fight broke up mid. Bonus. Um, cookie cutter uh, team fighting strat is is hold onto E and W. Uh, look to hit closest guy. Then then you can find an E plus alt into the backline of teammates CC for your W. Basically hold onto abilities until you're ready to all in a very a specific guy what should we work on next session um next session will probably be um more pvp ideas uh specifically targeting uh cleanse stuff like cleanse usage qss for example there were times in the back end of fights where tf has gold card and we're not ready to cleanse the next step would be making sure you know what your enemy's big outplay uh big move is uh additional notes if any didn't we already do the tasks in the second in the second part on every wave Ask yourself what is their best engage based off enemies in your lane. Hold E. Down to hold W as well, but let's not worry about that. Yeah, I think the big one, a big one was holding E. <laughs> we kind of got ourselves killed. The entire first 20 minutes was uh, dying to gank and eating into a fight and instantly dying, right? Those are the two biggest problems. Uh, when a fight breaks out, uh, if your whole team is there, you need to go good 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 any other any questions for Milo? makes sense all right let's kill for some games <clears throat>